Thank you for clicking on this video. Make sure you hit that like button if you like the content you're getting. And definitely hit that subscribe button. That way you can keep getting all the latest information on what's going on in the world of pulp culture. All my latest rants, raves, and reviews. Now let's get into this video. Alright, this episode we're talking about Netflix Love, Death, and Robots, which is its very own unique science fiction anthology series. And it's been 26 months since we've gotten a new season. At the moment, there's only two seasons. The first season came out in May of 2019, and the second season has just dropped with a few changes in it. Uh, one of the major ones being is that in season one, there were 18 episodes. They've cut back quite a bit to where there's only eight episodes in this season. And in this season, they seem to be focusing a lot more on storytelling than the first season. There were a lot of complaints that the first season seemed to just kind of have some gratuitous violence without really much storytelling, which was completely fine with me. The artwork is absolutely amazing. The animation and computer graphics are cutting edge, mixed with some hyper-realism, which looks like cutscenes that came straight off of a PlayStation 4, possibly even a PlayStation 5. The hyper-realism is just insane. How clear and crisp some of the scenes seem to be. This series focuses on everything from the weird, extraordinary, science fiction, fantasy, just about anything you can think of. It seems to be mixed in somewhere between season one and season two. Most episodes seem to run somewhere around 10 minutes, give or take. A little bit longer, a little bit less, depending on which episode it is. I wish there was more to season two because you just burn through it so quickly. And once you start, you're just so addicted to the animation. It's it's insane. There is going to be a third season that comes out in 2022. Considering that this season just rolled out, there's really nothing out there about season three yet. If you haven't seen season one, season one is definitely a must-see. Season two is also. There's nothing else out there at the moment like Love, Death, and Robots. It's so awesome that Netflix picked this up and ran with it because it helps give creators and artists a whole new platform to work on and to get exposure and, and to bring stories out that we probably wouldn't get in any other setting. I'm so sad this season is already over. I cannot wait for the next season. On that note, that's all I've got. I'm out of here and I will see y'all next time.